Let's say I was staff member Ben Sharp. In this case, Ben Sharp is responsible for entering custom orders with Intensia for a specific set of stock items within the system to a limited set of customers that are Ben's customers. We can use lookup filters to make the process of data entry much quicker for Ben. Let's start by setting a filter on the customer lookup. We go to our maintain debtor accounts window and again using the lookup button we can search on a full list of debtors within the system. If we have a look there is a large number of debtors. We wish to limit that to be the customers that are specifically related to Ben. So we can use the filter tab and in the filter tab we have a filter called sales code. Ben has a sales code equal to BS with the, with the initials. We can then apply a filter on the sales code of BS to limit the range of customers uh, to specific to Ben. Ben, of course, can then save that lookup filter for future use anywhere with Intensia where a customer code is looked up. You key in the name of the filter you wish and click the Add Filter button. You can then save that filter for use only by Ben. So once we clear the filter, we can select that filter and apply the filter anywhere through the system. Similarly, Ben's job is to sell items out of the electrical goods category. So for stock items, when we look up a specific stock code, we get the full list of stock items in the system. Again, using the filter tabs in this example, we can use the stock category and set a filter on the stock category with the electrical goods stock category code and narrow down the search of stock items to be only those items within the stock category group. Again, we can save this filter for future use by keying in the name of the filter we wish and clicking the add filter and again this is specific to Ben so this filter will only be available for Ben's use in the drop down. So what that means is if I clear this lookup window next time I perform a lookup for the stock code Ben need only to click the button select the predefined lookup filter and apply that filter to the items within the lookup window to narrow down the search to items that only Ben sells. Another great feature of the lookup filters is to be able to set this as the default search for Ben. So instead of Ben having to select the stock category filter, Ben can go and save that filter as the name default. So in this case, again, we set equals as the stock category and EL as the stock category code. But in this case, we're going to call the filter default. And when we save and add that filter to the system for Ben, whenever a stock code lookup is performed by Ben anywhere within the system, again, we'll clear that. Now perform the search with the lookup button. It defaults the items in the lookup to only those items relevant to Ben. Okay. Now, of course, putting these together in terms of data entry, we can speed up the, the data entry process. So if we go back to entering in a sales order, we get to the customer code field and Ben is entering an order. So Ben wants to search for his customer codes has a full list of customers there on the sales order. Instead, Ben would only like to see his customers, so he can select his predefined filter, apply that filter, find the customer that they wish to use for entry, and return that customer to the screen. Then we'll just jump to entering in a line for that sales order. We're entering a stock line on this sale. When Ben gets to the stock code field, when he launches the lookup for stock codes, what you'll see is a predefined list of stock 
because if you view in the lookup window the default category search has been used so the items have already been filtered if he wishes to display all items to sell something outside the product range he's used to he can click the clear filter button and select those items otherwise he can apply any of the filters that he has saved previously to find the item that he would like for entry.